Welcome back guys. So, last episode we just fixed our uh, solid fuel issues and we got a protection field finished. So, let's continue on with the uh, with research. Um, let's just take the next in a row and get that knocked out. Also, I've been reading some of your comments since it's, uh, it's been a while since I recorded the last episode and one of you told me that I was missing some productivity modules up here in my steel. And that's because of my blueprint. So let's just go and fill out the productivity modules we need here for the steel. Same with here. And I think the rest should have it in them now. So this episode is also going to be a bit about uh, our bottlenecks. I think we are starting to get the, the rock launch a bit faster. See, we're missing rocket fuel, so that's something we have to look at this episode. So, rocket fuel. Let's see. Rocket fuel. What part of it is it missing? Let's go look where we have set that up. Um, right here. So, what is the rocket fuel missing? We have more than enough rocket oxidized, so it's pretty much a rocket fuel capsule. The rocket fuel capsule is made with this, so let's go down south and check on it. What's it's missing? So might need to clear some of some of this out soon. But let's just look at our rocket fuel right here. Some that could also need a bit of a boost. Pretty much just speed boost, and then we're missing hydrazine. Um, yeah, let's put down some chemical plants. Mark four. I'd like to do this should be fine, I think. So let's do. Is the chemical plant one we have here? Yes. Do chemical plant two. Can I choose another one. Seems like can't but we should be able to just change it out then and see see where is it at uh, this one at least then we have this one uh, at max speed and we can clear out the rest of these and copy this one down There we go. And then we're missing the hydrocene. So let's go look at hydrocene. I think it's right next to it. It's hydrocene we have over here. Hydrocene. What are you missing? Mono thing. I'm just going to put down some speed beacons while I remember. Since uh, we might as well, since I know it's going to be an issue quite soon as well. So let's copy this one. Let's see where's a good place to put it. That hits right there. And the rest can go right here. That should give this all the speed it needs, hopefully. And now it just needs the inputs, and that can be fixed quite easy. So hydrocene is the next thing. Let's get some more beacons. Right here, and seems we can hit them all if we do it like that. So now that's supercharged, perfect. And then we need the mono clolo mono thing in. Wherever we put that, Let's see what do we have here? Not here is not where we need it. Water, it's fine. Mono. Where is our mono? Oh, is it this up here? That's mono. What is it missing? I thought we had a pretty good setup for this. 
Oh, it's made in sodium. Why is that lacking so much? I'm pretty sure we fixed that a few episodes ago, or did I remove it by accident? Can any of you see it? Where I put it down. Oh, let's just mark this with the uh, solid fuel output. Let's mark it with the napalm. Or whatever that is called. That friend thingy. Um, where are they at? I can't remember why I'm making these. Completely blank at the moment, but I have to making them somewhere. Let's make an asset. Hydra. Let's put down the hydro. And hydro here as well. And then let's continue on to figure out where it's at. Why is it so hard to find? I feel like I'm missing something very, very obvious. And that wouldn't have been the first time. Oh well, we might just have to make it then. A new place. I might have removed what was making them before. Um, is it? Oh, right here. Right here. There we are. You're missing chlorine gas. I thought we were producing a ton of that. Um, right here. Oh no, because that, that is full now. Now we're not making enough chlorine gas. Oh, these are burning it off too fast. Oh, what a stupid mistake. We can pretty much fix it if I do. Right over there. That's going to be a bit bad. That's a lot of outputs. Do the same here. Cut you over there instead. At least that means we have more than enough of... Uh, <laughs> of this in the base, because then we can take that, and take that, and move over the flare stacks one. If we do it like this, and put in an overflow valve, then we should have more chlorine than we need. These are going extremely fast now. You are allowed to request way more than that. Because we shouldn't run out of chlorine. And that's gonna start to power up this up here. Well, that's way too slow. I think we're making computers up here, ain't we? Let's see. Have we moved the computers yet? We haven't. Um, didn't I do a setup like that somewhere? Bup, bup. I thought I did a beacon setup. Because these we need to move and make somewhere else so we can start to boost this a bit. Pretty much just move everything right and move the bottom ones of these. Go away. Why can't I see that anywhere? Oh, here we are. Here we can beacon it. Pretty much the CPUs and... What's it called? Integrated electronics. So let's do that first and then beacon... Uh, pretty much move all of that up here. Over to right here. So we need to copy-paste this with a different input. So if we copy-paste this and remove our inputs. Move all the requests to uh, chess. 
then we should be fine to put it down over here. Right there might be good. Let's try this and see what happens. Oops. Right there. And then change this. And this. And we need a simplest instead of uh, this setup. So copy that one over. You can go away. And I'd like to empty out these. Put in the requester chest again. So we have a blank blueprint. And then copy this over to this side. Let's see if we can't get CPUs up and running. So, C oh, integrated electronics right here. Turn to, oh, that means it all uses the same. That's fine, I think. Uses the same. B is a beacon. Of course, not like that, like this. And over here, we'll do. Like that. Request, request. Oh, you're missing the asset. Like to empty out that, and you can request a bit less than that. Wonder what happens if you request this many. If it just goes and fills it up and then uh, stops. That's good. Then we can remove it down here. Where did it go? Here we go. Oh, it is marked on the map even. Don't know why I couldn't see it. So you can go away and you can go away. Let's just connect this up until this is fixed. Then over here, we need the chlorine gas in. Let's see, chlorine gas out. And then we need to change these to a different one. Let's just try this. That's going to work. And see, where is it at? Where is it at? Sodium something another request that remember our productivity that can't go in unfortunately get our gas now I just request what it needs that's fine same over here these are producing at a good pace but without the productivity, we might need two of them. But we will see in a minute. I really let star for chlorine gas. That is a bit sad. We can remove this now. Wait. Because this is working as fast as we need, much faster than we need, and we're being supplied all we need at our science. Wonder how much science we are producing. Let's just check. Oh, here we go. Last minute. Oh, we're above 2k science per minute. That is cool. So uh, no complaining about that, and that's also going pretty fast to getting these done. So uh, I like that a lot. 
But chlorine, why are you that low? And is there some way we can produce saline water? Pretty much saline water is, is the best way to do it. Getting the sodium, and I think we are already doing that. Let's change this one to some kind of fluid one. Fluid mole? Let's do where's at? Um, that one. That's pretty uh, okay. Green for the fluid ones, green for the non fluid ones over here. So chlorine is still the issue. And we could do it like this. Um, mm, mm, mm. Ain't we producing it down here? Or what am I doing? Are oh, producing it like this instead? Then we have no need for the other one. This one is kind of full. That's not helping a lot either. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help us either. So it's pretty much just we have to do this little setup, throw this into the system, burn this off if we have too much, and then just produce uh, chlorine gas. Let's go over and set that up. Or maybe repurpose one of these. Maybe this one. To do something else. No. Let's make an entire new cell. You can just do it here right next to it. And then stop using the saline water for salt and just use it directly for chlorine. But let's just check our blueprints. If we have a beacon one, uh, I don't have a beacon on me. Let's just copy one from somewhere. And is that able to hit all of them? Yes. Good. So copying this setup, just with different inputs, I think that might be a good way to do it. Let's just try this, thank you, and go over here. I'd like to remove the request that just again. And put you down just like that. I don't know if this is going to work, but we will know in just a minute change you. There we go. And then make chlorine from saline oh. from saline water. Same over here. Then we need saline water in. Should be easy enough to get. See how much saline water we're using up here. We're using quite a bit of it. And to be honest, let's just try to do this to disable it for just a minute. Then we're building up saline water. The salt is still easily keeping up over here just with normal water. So I think we're going to save that and then we can get it in down here. These are going out going into the same setup we had before. So we have the chlorine here. Fill chlorine gas barrel. Over here you like to fill hydrogen. hydrogen. Then we like to put down some speed beacons. We can't put anything else in these, can we? Nope. But let's see if we can even supply this with enough water. That's the next thing. But let's give it 
I'll go. Let's see. You have to fit in right here. Let's just try with that first. Let's see how this goes. Saline water, empty. Request, request. And hopefully, this is going to give us all the chlor. Oh, the chlor barrel that we need. Request. Quest. Get him some barrels. Give it a small upgrade. Let's see if we're producing a ton of chlorine now. Oh, we have an output from here. We have to uh, remember. I know I can do uh, the inserter thing where I can turn it. Oh, I can't remember the. Oh, some turn right there. I can't remember commands to turn it because that shifts it like that oh that's normal turn can I do it in here oh I can't remember how to uh... let's just go check our settings fast if I can find it in here in our controls um, game it might be in the mod controls. Mods. Uh, Shift L. Pick up drop. Is it Shift L we need then? That does that. I'm just pressing things right now and hopefully I don't mess up anything. Oh, well. I messed up something. I got stuck. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I pressed, but I got stuck for just a minute. Um, I'll just put down uh, the output for this somewhere else for now until I figure it out. If you guys know, please tell me, because I can't figure it out at the moment. Just gonna put it right there for now. The rest we can just do. Let's try this for now. Just empty these out and get the speed beacon down here to help it out. Let's see if we can get this up and running. So now that's burning off hopefully fast enough so these can start working again. Get the active here. We can do a long hand on this one over here just to uh, fix that. I know it's shift L now. Oh. See how that goes for now. But I'd like to find a more permanent solution than doing this because uh, that is not an optimal way to do it. Oh, this is such an ugly setup. That's what you get for trying to do it uh, an easy way. Because this is anything but easy or beautiful. Pretty much be able to remove 
this part of it. Since that's not being used for anything. Pretty much we're only using the top part. And then we could just move it down one. Make it a bit prettier. It's just a made entire you know what? I'm making an entirely new one where I don't have all this uh horrible setup. So if I do it like this, move this down one. Have one, two, three, right there. Change some of these outputs a bit. I think that's going to be a better solution in the long run. There we go, get you away. Do pipe. I think I'm going to be happy that I did this instead of just uh, continuing along with the, the other way of doing it. Because then we can connect up the pipe and then we can do a normal active provider here. And hopefully that doesn't do it over here. Out, out, out. Put in a beacon. It's actually in a fine enough spot. Um, get in some flare stacks at the bottom here. see how we do this. Let's connect it up. You can go to right here. Go uh, to that. Connect you up. Connect you up. And then we'll do the same for this. Let's just do that below so we have a bit more room. Connect up chlorine. Now we'll take this entire setup here. Press you cut you and you can paste you right here instead. Get you away, you away. That away. And then we can click connect up like this and you can just go like that. Get some flare stacks. Three, same for this. Do oh, one up would be nice. So right, one, two, three. Do a few overflow valves. We can do same here. Let's see if this won't work like oh, that. This is a pretty risky setup. Oh, we would have overflow valves here, I'm guessing. Might already have placed them before. I can't remember right now, but that works. Power. Power, power, and active, active. Get our speed beacon moved up here instead. Get this removed. And then we have a pretty ugly setup. Not there, I can tell as much there. Get our that connected up and a little power here. That is an extremely ugly setup. I'm uh, not extremely happy about that but it does mean we're producing a lot more chlorine now 
and hopefully that will be able to keep up with uh, the demand we have. If not, that's just uh, the way it goes for now. That goes uh, a decent speed. So let's just leave it at that and uh, pretty much call this uh, a kind of messy episode. But uh, we got did get a habitation module done and before we end we'll just start the next one towards our, uh, our life support system. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, I am sorry for our uh, mess that we made of uh, getting the chlorine. But uh, stuff like that happens sometimes and uh, I couldn't, I can't really do much about it. At least not this time. Chlorine gas. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next episode. Bye.